We've interviewed so many survivors over the years, people who have come out on top after going through some of life's most challenging circumstances. Uh, homelessness comes to mind, uh, substance abuse, depression, all situations that could have defined those survivors, but guess what? They didn't. And it's all thanks to many of the incredible resources that are here on Delmarva that help in those trying times. We would like to introduce to you this afternoon Dr. Alicia Broughton of Milton. She is the founder of Unlimited Expectations Express, a nonprofit organization that steps in during some of those hard times. Dr. Broughton, thank you so much for yeah, joining us. Thank you. And you're a 2013 Jefferson Award winner as well. I am. It was a pleasure. So thank you for doing <laughs> what you do to have earned that honor. Um, explain to us what it was that you saw that drove you to establish Unlimited Expectations Express. I had a lump on my last breast and it affected my brain. So I went from almost six figures to public assistance and I found myself homeless. So as a result, um, I decided to start the foundation to assist people that are homeless and to provide resources. So my job right now, I actually work in public health and we do, um, we assist people that are homeless and people that have emotional um, disorders or may have um, emotional um, depression, suicide, mm -hmm. and may have emotional disorders. So I just wanna give back to our community and be a blessing to those to help them to overcome as I did. And this is a, a, a Unlimited Ex, uh, Expectations Express is a nonprofit organization. Yes. Tell us, give us a little more detail on how you help these people. Okay, so what happens is um, the goal of the um, organization is to actually have five events throughout the year. So I have a board and we have applications. So um, right now there's a family that we wish to help and there's a young man that's undergoing cancer. So we would like to provide uh, medical assistance to the family for the individual so that he's able to get the treatments that he needs. If there's someone that's homeless that needs a security deposit, um, may need household items, we're able to give those items to the individual that's homeless. I understand you've had the privilege to see people turn their lives around. Yes, most definitely. Anything you can share with us? I, we, I, we know we, you can't be too specific, but anything that you can share with us that was a good story that touched your heart? Definitely. Um, well, I volunteered at a local shelter and I was there a couple of weeks ago and there was a gentleman that was in the shelter and he was talking about finding housing. So um, I do a needs assessment to find out where the individuals are. So he was like, well, there's a place I saw, it's 125 a week. I said, well, how about if we applied for permanent housing? So I took a Habitat application in and an in-call research application in, and he applied and he, um, I got a phone call yesterday from the shelter and they are considering his application. So I do what I do to impact the lives of others and to um, enable them to think about long-term goals as right. opposed to short-term goals. And he also told me that he was able to find a job. We spent maybe about five hours last week doing a resume. He found a job this week. So, Excellent. Yes. Wow, that's, terrific. that's awesome. And in addition to all this, you've written a book. Yes, I have. Tell us about it. The book is called Releasing the Pain, Walking and Healing, and it talks about um, abuse. And a lot of us don't take off the mask. So um, because of all the health issues that I had, I um, was taking like opiates, Percocet. And I, from my background, from where I work, most people that are addicted to opiates, they start off with pain medicine. So I'm talking in my book how I had to wing off of opiates and releasing the pain, walking and healing. And it's deeper than what we see. A lot of times we look at the outward man, but we don't really know what's going on in the inside, like chronic depression, um, suicide. So to depress those symptoms, people are um, um, doing opiates. So the book talks about ways to, and strategies to deal with suicide and depression and dysfunctional families and how to survive if you are um, facing a mental illness. Hmm. So wonderful, Thank and I, I'm it. glad that your story has a happy ending. Yes. yes. And you're using it to help others. <laughs> yes. Dr. Alicia Broughton. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so pleasure. much. The group's called Unlimited Expectations Express.